Hey, what is up everybody? This is Eric for Rocket TV. Uh, we do have no green screen today. I'm trying to get all set up that way I can start streaming for you guys. So uh, there's that. That's why there's the kind of little, you get the background back there. Uh, deal with it. Anyways, so we are going to be finishing up the first part of Seraphine's Awakening quest today. Or at least I hope so. I mean, I don't want to spend any more gems, but I will. So uh, let's go in here. Uh, crafting recipe, we only need one more <laughs> feather, so let's get in here and craft it up. So we will be going to chapter 14, Road to Ratsgar. It's uh, one of the, it's the first. Uh, bye. Yeah, continue. All right, let's sweep this three times and we will be getting not only a feather, but the interstellar merchant. And almost have Wolfang up to 500 soul stones. That's a nice side bonus of doing Seraphine's uh, Awakening quest is that it's actually where Wolfang uh, soul stones drop, which is really cool. So uh, let's go back here and craft that up because we have all of the pieces. Craft. And then the Protector's Wing. It takes two uh, Torch of Destructions. And uh, we'll just craft that since I don't really need the pieces. And then one Scepter of Abyss. So let's get in here. Crafting done. I'm really stoked. Boom! Go Seraph. Oh yeah. So, crafted equipped Seraphine's signature item, the Protector's Wing. Complete. Now we have to go into the dojo, Valley of the Broken Halberd. 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 Actually, that might be up today and Gosh, hopefully I didn't already run it. Oh gosh, hopefully. Please, please tell me. Please tell me I didn't mess up. Come on, come on. Big bunny, big money, no whammies, no whammies. And this is going slow today. Oh, okay, so it is up today. Still got it remaining. So we'll run through once, that way you get an idea of uh, what extreme is like. Although again, if you're doing these awakening quests, you probably aren't going to be having an issue clearing this out. Although that is so cool uh, that we have her able to go in there. So actually, let's uh, try this for some shizzes and some giggles. Uh, since we know we'll be able to clear this easily, we'll throw in uh, Jasmine there. And then how about Mariana? And why not... Gizmotron. There we go. Let's try this out. We'll see if Arachna can actually hold the line or not. Uh, just a, a fun little test here. I know those guys actually hit really damn hard, so <laughs> probably not going to happen. But I have to back out here. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to do something a little different. Okay, well, Arachna's going to live. So there's that. Uh, we might make it, because I don't know if Seraphine has to live through the fight. She just has to participate, so. Boom. Nice. Okay, well, we got a chance. We actually have a chance even having Seraphine live with the Arachna tank. Come on. Let's do it. And let's uh, put down the uh, puddle here. That way we can maybe... Okay. So, let's do this. Start ch uh, charging Mariana's ult. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Boom! <laughs> Did it with the Arachna tank. <laughs> Whew. That was close. Uh, only two stars. Bummer. Hopefully you don't have to three star it. If you have to three star it... <laughs> oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, let's actually look at the uh, quest here. <laughs> Oh, tell me you don't have to. Okay, good. Just must complete. Okay. Well, I'll do the rest of that off camera because nobody wants to watch <laughs> five rounds of the Valley of the Broken Halberd. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is Boom actually got number one on Crusher, which is so different for me, you know, since I almost always stink at doing Crusher. And uh, I'll show you how much damage I ended up pulling out since it was it was pretty good. You know, uh, 1.15 million. That's by far the best I've done. And if you want to know how to do it, too bad. It's my secret. Nah, I'm just kidding. So uh, I used Tholin, Bloodspear, uh, Tanya, Musashi. So I had three frontliners. 
uh, then the Blood Spear, and then Flora, actually. So I use Flora because he does that magic damage, so the magic damage reduction really helps get your team through uh, his... It's his second time he uses his ult. That's the kind of deciding factor. So uh, with that team, uh, just so you know how to kind of play it, because if you just pop Blood Spear's ult really early, you're going to wipe, and you're not going to do as much damage. So what you have to do is you have to wait. He'll use his first ult. Everybody's ults will be kind of charged, but don't use them, except for Tholans. You can use Tholans. That way he gets a little bit of life leech. But uh, what you should do is wait until he starts throwing out his rocks right before he does his uh, whole team damage move. And then right as he starts throwing out his rocks, then you can use Blood Spear's ult. And then... Uh, when he's almost done, then you can pop Flora's ult. Hopefully she can get the whole team full, and you haven't done a ton of damage to him yet. And then what he'll do is he'll ult. Hopefully everybody will stay alive. Sometimes it doesn't happen. But uh, that's, you know, when I got that high damage, that's fortunately what we were able to do. And then just started popping everybody's ults. Uh, the great thing about Tanya on this fight is uh, sometimes if you can time it right, when she does her zoom, she gets that uh, reduction to damage taken, which really helps. Uh, you're just staring at the screen. Yeah, check out that damage. Which really helps you uh, absorb some of those big hits. So that's... Uh, one of the reasons why she's so useful on that fight. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for joining me. Should be, what, four days now? And we will be looking at Seraphine's Awakening quest, which is really awesome. Uh, can't wait to show you guys that whole shebang. Also be doing some more uh, hero spotlights on some old heroes, as it was suggested to me that I do that. Uh, that way you guys can get clued in on some old heroes that maybe you haven't heard about or kind of got left in the wayside anyways uh thanks so much for watching once again this has been eric for rocket tv i hope you guys guys have a great day until next time peace